What's going on everybody? This is Kansas or Greg once again with another Diablo 3 video for you. This is following a follow-up to my first Diablo 3 video going through Act 1 and killing some elites. Let me turn this sound down here real quick. I'm confused. Going through and killing some elites in Act 1 um, up until where I just entered um, to go do the Warden and then the Butcher. So that's what this video is going to be. A um, couple of the things I want to talk about in this video are, I don't know if you guys have seen a couple of videos that have been going around lately, last week or so, um, about this puzzle ring. It's a, it's a unique ring called the Puzzle Ring, and one of the attributes on it is uh, when you get hit, there's a chance that you can spawn a goblin, or a goblin will spawn around you. So, and there's a cooldown of 15 minutes, so there's there's people that sit in one spot and they get hit and hit and hit. Just they they're you know they're kind of a tank build. They get hit and hit and hit, and they're kind of hiding off in the corner while these monsters are hitting them. And the goblin will spawn on the other side of the monsters from them, and they'll just sit there and they'll just keep tanking. And then 15 minutes later, another one will spawn. 15 minutes later, another one will spawn. Or they can hand the ring off to their friends, and more goblins will spawn. And before you know it, you got unlimited amount of goblins sitting in front of you. And then you just go crazy with your friends, killing all these goblins and, you know, just racking up the loot and all that. But, and people are calling it an exploit. I'm not so sure it's an exploit. I mean, it's not really taking advantage of, like, a flaw in the game or something. It's, it's, I mean, it's an attribute of the ring. And my thing is, if it takes so long to farm 10, 20, 30 goblins when you can farm 10 times the amount of elite mobs in that amount of time... It's not an exploit I want to do, but it's pretty funny looking. I'll put some links in the description if you haven't seen it. It's pretty funny looking, all these goblins sitting there, and then these Chinese guys just going to town on them. It's pretty hilarious. But that cracked me up when I saw that. I hadn't heard about it till I saw a video on it, and uh, I thought it was really funny. I thought some of you might not have heard about it, and you might want to check it out. But for me, that's not really for me, so I'm going to uh, keep on farming elite mobs myself. Getting my character a little bit better than it has been. I told you guys uh, in the last video I kind of restarted from nothing. As you see, I just got Paragon level 6 right there. Um, but I restarted from nothing. I sold all my gear, started over. I'm slowly getting it built back up. I think I'm at like 45,000 damage now or something. That's pretty good. I mean, I've only been playing for like a week or so, and I haven't bought anything or anything like that, so... Just gold that I find, you know, I spend, I shop on the gold auction house, but that's not really buying stuff in my opinion, but. Um, on the auction house subject, how many of you guys use the real money auction house? I mean, I have sold quite a bit on the real money auction house, but I haven't bought anything on the real money auction house. Um, I have some friends that have bought things off the real money auction house because, well, they sold some items and then they had money in their account and they bought items with that money, so it's kind of, I mean, it's. Basically, you're trading items for other items when you do that, but I was just curious if any of you guys are using the real money auction house like to make your character better, get some better stuff, but for me, I haven't. I might. I don't know. I don't really have anything against it. I just don't feel like it right now, and it's not like I have a ton of money at the moment anyways, but uh, I have noticed, though, since I came back from my little hiatus that I took of Diablo 3. I have noticed that the gold auction now seems to be a lot cheaper. And I, I guess that's natural. I mean, as time goes by, the items are going to get cheaper and cheaper. But it seems like there's a really big difference. Like, I can get pretty darn decent items for, you know, hardly anything. I do a couple Act 1 runs, and then I can afford a, a better item than I have, you know, like a new belt or something. So, and it's, I mean, I'm not talking about the crazy good items, but, you know, I just thought it was a lot cheaper. So I was real happy about that. But yeah, I haven't used the real money auction house for anything. I might. I might at some point. Got a new weapon, though, that I kind of like. I'll show you guys probably in the next video or so. Um, I didn't have it in this video, so... And I wasn't really worried fighting the, the butcher right here, getting stuck in his little hook. I mean, he's not going to kill me, so... I wasn't really worried about it. I let him catch me a couple times, I think. And I barely missed getting caught a third time. But yeah, hope you guys are uh, having a good weekend. My Chiefs were getting spanked right now, so Buffalo's spanking the crap out of them, so I figured I might as well leave that for a minute and go make a video. So, hope you guys are having a good weekend, what's left of it, and uh, 
Stay tuned for more Diablo videos and Gears of War videos if you're on Xbox or anything like that. And you guys, love your faces. I'll talk to you later, right?